this video, I'm going to be filling the fresh water tank on this 1994 Dodge Road Truck 190 Versatile. At the same time, I'm going to be sanitizing the tanks, and I'm also going to dewinterize the hot water heater. Okay, what you're going to need for this, you'll need a funnel, uh, preferably one with a hose attached to it so you can get in the, uh, the fresh water tank a little easier. You need a measuring cup, you need some bleach, and a fresh water hose. I also got this Camco fresh water tank filler and shutoff valve. This thing has been absolutely awesome. You can find them on Amazon and a lot of other places they sell camping supplies. Uh, that thing allows you to shut off the water right at the fresh water tank. It makes it a lot more efficient. The user's manual for the Road Trek 190 Versatile, the 94, uh, says for sanitization, use a quarter cup of bleach to every one gallon of fresh water. I know this particular model has a 25 gallon tank on it, so I'm gonna need six and one quarter cup to do this. So I got my fresh water hose hooked up and turned on. Again, with this cool thing is you can turn the water on right there. With this particular model, the fresh water tank is filled right there on the passenger side. Uh, we're gonna do this. It says in the owner's manual to mix the solution before you put it in. Uh, that sounds like it's gonna take forever. So what I'm just gonna do, I'm not gonna do it as an exact science, but uh, I've filled this tank a few times. I know it takes roughly 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna fill it up and every two minutes, I'm gonna stop and add one and a quarter cup of bleach to the fresh tank. Just uh, start filling the tank up. Uh, with this, again, you can actually slow down the flow. I've seen with this that if I have it full open, sometimes I actually have to slow it down because it'll start shooting out. So there's about two minutes. So we go ahead and stop. And I'm gonna add in our first one and a quarter cup of bleach. Again, take your funnel. Got the bleach there. Funnel in. And we're gonna throw in the one and a quarter cup of bleach. Then we're going to start going for another two minutes on the water fill. The next step the owner's manual has for sanitization, it says to turn the water pump on. You hear the water pump going down there. And it says to open up the faucet and allow water to come out to get any air out of the system. got the air out of the system. So along with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dewinterize the water heater. Last season I actually installed a Camco permanent hot water heater bypass. You see right now, it's actually on bypass. So I'm gonna switch it over to normal operation. You hear the, uh, you hear the water heater or the water pump going. That's actually filling up the six gallon water heater right now. At this point, the water pump has turned off. That's indicating that the water heater is full. So now we're gonna actually have to go outside and burp it to get any of the excess air pressure out of the top of the water heater. So go outside. Go back here to the water heater. And right here is actually where you burp it. And you hear the water pump running again, that's allowing the, that access air pressure to actually fill up with water. So now that it's gotten a little more, go ahead and see, once, uh, once that thing starts shooting out water, then you know that that thing is totally full. It's got full water in the top of it. So now you know that there's only water in the hot water heater. There is no air stuck in the top. Now that you've filled your fresh water tank with the bleach solution, you've gone in, turned on the water pump, gotten all the air out of the lines, 
and gone in and dewinterized the hot water heater, filled up that tank, burped that. Now the next step in the owner's manual is to let this sit for three hours in order for that solution to actually clean out the tank and clean out those lines. Now that it's been three hours, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the water and let that go. So we go over here, I'm gonna start doing the toilet as well. So just gonna keep running that until the pump starts running out. Once that, uh, once all the water runs through it, I'm gonna go uh, dump it. Okay, so you see at this point our pump is starting to cavitate. Lines are starting to uh, starting to lose pressure, so that means that our freshwater tank is about empty. I will say one thing on this: uh, currently the vehicle is parked on a little bit of a uh, little bit nose down, so I'm probably going to turn it around because the pickup line for the freshwater tank is actually on the backside. So we're going to turn this around, make sure that. Uh, get as much water out of that as possible. Okay, now that I've got it parked on an incline, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water pump back on. Let's see if I can get any uh, final water out of that first water tank. Got a little bit, but... There we go. Now that we got it on an incline, it does look like it's, uh, getting a fair amount more water so just kind of be mindful of what angle the vehicle is is when you're doing this because then when you go to rinse it the second time you're still going to have a lot of that bleach water in there okay i'm going to go ahead and dump got the hose all hooked up the valve open on this side <laughs> pull the black first right here Now that you have the tanks drained, the last step that it says is to fill the fresh tank with fresh potable water and rinse it out. So we're going to fill it up and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to leave the sink and the toilet open. Uh, we're going to let the, the black water and the gray water tank fill up and we're going to go dump that and be all set. Now that we've got our fresh water tank full, we're gonna come up, turn the water pump on. You hear the water pump coming on to uh, get all the air out of the system. So I'll just go ahead and turn the sink on, do the same things we did before. Just gonna turn the sink on, and then go ahead and start flushing the toilet. Do that until the pump runs out. And again, watch the angle of the vehicle when you do this. Just make sure that the fresh water tank is fully empty. Now that we have the bleach out of the system, or most of the bleach out of the system, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the hot water heater. You'll see it'll come on. And we'll go outside and show you what it actually looks like. Water heater is on and working. And a uh, few things with a hot water heater. One, make sure that you have gas and make sure that your gas is turned on on the other side. And the igniter is going to go by a DC, so you do have to have the battery connected. Now that you filled up the fresh water tank again, ran all that uh, clean water through the system, rinsed out that uh, the bleach out of there, drained the tanks. Then you're all set. The one other thing that the owner's manual does say is if there's excessive chlorine taste or odor in the system after this, it says to prepare a solution of one quart of vinegar to five gallons of water. So for this, it'd be five quarts of vinegar for the uh, 25 gallon tank. And then it says to agitate that by driving for, it says for five days 
and then uh, flush it out and dump the system. So that's a possibility if you have excessive chlorine taste after you get done with this. Other than that, you're all set. You got a sanitized uh, water system now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Um, good luck out there. Happy trekking.